Montrose Community Trust launched in 2012 with the aim of using the power and widespread appeal of football to inspire change. On an ordinary basis, pre-COVID, we deliver 34 weekly programmes addressing some of the key inequalities that exist in our town. So since we are unable to deliver any of our traditional programmes, we've instead directed our time and effort to the development and delivery of a COVID-19 community assist scheme. And there are a number of strands, all of which are designed to support the most disadvantaged and vulnerable. We have a food distribution service where we prepare and deliver hot meals and a accompanying snack packs to those that need it most. Today we are having pork chops done with thyme and onion gravy and mashed potatoes and sweet corn. I've been very fortunate that we've had donations from people. Start about 8 o'clock, Monday to Friday. I do the cooking part, but Claire's always here to help. Claire does do the front, doing up the bag, you know all the goodies that she puts in the bag. The meals are delicious and in particular has put such a great amount of time and effort into the preparation of these foods that are not only tasty but they're very nutritious as well. At the moment I am doing contactless deliveries, so picking up hot meals from the kitchen here at Lynx Park and delivering them to those in need. I think the, the benefit that this project is having on Montrose as a, as a community is a very great one. I hate to imagine what these families or individuals might do if they didn't have this um, available to them. Well, I've been in Montrose for about 40 years, so a wee bit want to put someone back to the community. You know, when you first started, really, it was just put it in the doorstep and a lot of them are shy, a bit self-conscious, perhaps. So it was really a matter of, morning, here you are, have a nice day. But, Nowadays it is a chat. I've been getting steak pie, macaroni cheese, lasagnas, we've had minced potatoes, stovies. And it's home cooked meals. I think that's brilliant that they take their time out their day to do that for people. They stand and chat with you, they ask how you are and how you're getting on. And the community trust does a lot. They've been my backbone. My son has autism and learning disabilities and epilepsy. It's been less stressful for us all. It's just been wonderful. If it wasn't for them meals, I don't know what I would do. There are a number of people, in particular older adults, who are unable to get to routine medical appointments. So we take them in our minibus, just one person at a time, so as to ensure social distancing, and we take them completely free of charge, let them pick up their prescription or their shopping, and take them back home. And we're also supporting families in getting their children to the hub at Lockside Primary School. Well, Community Trust has been helping me to get to like my hospital appointments, well, my doctor's appointment down at the health centre, because with me shielding, it's really hard to get out. When I come out of my doctor's appointment, I just give them the next appointment time and then they put it in the diary. It's been a godsend. It's changed my life completely because if it wasn't for that, I would never have managed to get out of the house and be so safe. In an attempt to ensure that our local food bank is suitably stocked to cater for the increasing demand, we have volunteers making contactless doorstep collections of donations. And I think to date, since lockdown commenced, we've donated just over two and a half tonnes. It, honestly, it just it makes you feel quite nice that you've tried to do something. Whilst I'm talking how good it is for the community, it's also hell of a good for me. So all of these services that I've mentioned would never have been possible had it not been for the time, effort and enthusiasm of an extensive network of volunteers. So I would just like to thank everyone at Montrose Community Trust and of course all of the beneficiaries. Thank you very, very much from the bottom of my heart.